Hey guys, Robus25 here, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at another uh, model, which this will be the second of the third uh, model that uh, Laura Hook sent me, but uh, we'll be taking a look at another model from uh, eBay user Laura Hook. Uh, today we'll be looking at the Death Corpse of Krieg Grenadier Squad. Uh, usual kind of disclaimer or whatever, however you want to say it. Uh, I opened up the box, I looked at the models beforehand to make sure there was no massive or major flaws with it to where I couldn't do the video, um, but I packed it back in the box exactly the way that I got it, with the exception of the other two models uh, will not be in this box. But other than that, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at it. So, of course we have our normal bubble wrapping and our three little bags here. Uh, so we have our bases here. Pretty self-explanatory. Uh, we have our bag of guys, which let's go ahead and open this up and take a look at them real quick. There we go. All over the place. Uh, now these guys look really, really sweet. They got like uh, armor plating on their chest and everything. It reminds me of like the old World War One trench um, plating that they gave troops that didn't really do a whole lot because guess what? Bullets go through steel quite easily if you're not using anything but a pistol. Um, so these guys look really good. Um, the only problem with these guys that I've seen is some of these trenches are a little thin uh, in some spots so like there's a tiny little gash right there missing out of the trench coat um, that this guy has on but uh, you know that doesn't bother me because it just looks like battle damage like you know it just got ripped or something so it doesn't really bother me but uh, other than that these guys look really well de well the the getting a tongue twister here uh, but these guys are really well detailed um, the only problem that I had on any of these models which was two of them uh, had a problem with the cape where the cape was a little thin and it didn't look uh, like a, like a solid piece of plastic so you know take that with a grain of salt if you're fine with it go ahead uh, if not you might be able to get a replacement uh, so let's go ahead and open up this one which has all the guns So we got the guys, and now we have all the guns and stuff. So uh, here we have uh, some grenade, the backpack, and arm, and this is supposed to be the grenade launcher, which is the only broken piece that I noticed out of the weapons um, that's probably just snapped off during shipping because, you know, handle with care did not uh, <laughs> mean handle with care to everyone. But uh, you can go ahead and just put that, you know, glue it back on, and you're golden. So I'm not super worried about it. Really easy fix. Nothing I would write home about and say that uh, you know I got a problem but uh, and then we got our flamethrower our uh, flame backpack extra canister and his arm uh, this is probably for the sergeant we got the las pistol the chain sword and the backpack of course and then we have pretty much everything else is just uh, Joe Schmo generic las guns with the, the cables but uh, so we have our little death corpse of creek las gun there his arm and uh, what appears to be, if I remember correctly, the power cables uh, that go into the gun. And I don't think that there's anything else in here other than those three things. Doesn't look like it. Well, you do get these little bayonets, or knives, I should say. But uh, I usually don't put these things on. I just find them a pain. But uh, you do get them, so, you know, just so you know. Uh, but that's pretty much it. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, see you in about an hour and a half. And I'll go assemble these guys, clean them up, and uh, show you the finished product. Okay, so now I have them all finished. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at these guys. Looking really good. Really happy with how they turned out. Uh, once you clean off all the flash and everything off of them, uh, they look really nice. Uh, you know, little minor defects here and there, but, um, like, again, with these capes, you can notice them while they're not painted. But as soon as you paint them, you're not going to notice these defects. So uh, I'm really happy with how these turned out. Um, I did not end up putting on those little uh, cables that go from the LAS gun to the backpack, uh, just because um, in my experience with other models, these really uh, thin uh, ones tend to crack, and once I paint them, I don't want to have to deal with trying to fix up the paint job on them when they crack and stuff when you put them in your case, because it's just kind of inevitable that they'll happen. But uh, I did put 
them on this one character just so that you guys can uh, see what it looks like. Uh, it looks really nice. Uh, molded perfectly. Fits in there just like a glove. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. Uh, let me see here. And then we have the sergeant with his nice las pistol and chain sword here. And our grenade launcher, which is one of the models that was uh, damaged during the shipment, but as you can see, minus my kind of poor gluing job there, um, looks really nice. Uh, you know, once you get this painted, you won't be able to tell that it was ever broken. Uh, so I uh, got his grenades, his extra grenades there on his back for his uh, grenade launcher. And uh, I'm really happy with how these turned out. So uh, anyway... I'll just show you one or two more of these guys. Just give them a little spin here so that you can see what's going on with them. But uh, I'm really happy with how all these guys turned out. Oh, here I should show you the guys. Show you guys the other special, the flamer here. Before I forget about the flamer guy, but uh, he turned out really well. I didn't. Uh, I chose not to put the flame backpack on just because uh, personal preference. I just think this looks a little better. So you know whatever. But uh, I'm really happy with how they all turned out. So if you guys are interested in picking up uh, these specific models or any other uh, kind of Forge World model that you can think of, uh, go ahead and click the link in the descri description and check out Laura Hook's uh, eBay store. And uh, if you go ahead and order from uh, him and or her, uh, go ahead and just uh, let them know that uh, I sent you in the order details uh, or order notes, and uh, I'd really appreciate that. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Thanks for watching my video guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you want to find my latest videos, you can go ahead and click right here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and if you'd like to know where you can get the best deals on games and get them for up to 75% off, go ahead and click the link in the description, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter to keep up to date. I hope you all have a good rest of your day.